What's going on, you guys? I'm as always Mr. Grand Fireman 2, and welcome to a Halloween edition of Film Fights. It's time to knuckle up. And, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to talk about the two uh, films for the press of one the 1999 Mummy and the 2017 Mummy. And we're going to see who was the better mummy, who was the better, who was the better hero in the movie. And who was the, yeah. Uh, we're going to go through Best Mummy between Aminet and Emotep. And Best Hero, Brendan Fraser and Tom Cruise. Yeah. And we're going to go through Best Story. So we're going to go through those three topics during this. And we're going to talk about both films. Get our thoughts on both of them. Uh, I'm glad we're doing this because I got a lot of shit I need to get off my chest about that fucking 2017 version. Um, because to be honest, I did not like the 2017 version all that much. Um, so yeah, we're going to go through those three plots, those three. Uh, situations there and uh, and stuff like that. So that's that's the kind of the point of of uh, film fights. So here we go. Uh, starting first with the 1999 Mummy, which was directed by the by Steven Sommers. Uh, it was also written co-written by Steven Sommers, and the screenplay was done by Steven Sommers as well. So this movie stars this version stars Brendan Fraser. Richard Wise, John Hanna, Arnold Vosloo, uh, the second Dark Man, uh, Jonathan Hyde, and Kevin J. O'Connor. Um, yeah, so we're going to go through this one and talk about this one. So here we go. In Thebes, Egypt, 1290 BC, High Priest Imhotep has a love affair with an Oxenamun. The mistress of the of the Pharaoh Seti. Imhotep and Anaxanamun kill kill Pharaoh after he discovers their affair. Imhotep uh, flees while Anaxanamun kills herself, believing that Imhotep would be able to resurrect her. Imhotep and his priest steal her corpse and travel to Hamanapcha, the city of the dead. But the resurrection ritual is stopped by Seti's bodyguards, the Magi. Imhotep's uh, priests are all mummified alive, while Imhotep is sentenced to suffer the Hamdai, the worst of Egyptian curses. His tongue is ripped out and he is buried alive with flesh-eating scarab, uh, scarab beetles. He is sealed away in a sarcophagus at the feet of a statue of the Egyptian god Anubis, which is, you know, the god, guardian the, of the underworld, uh, the god, god of death. Um, and kept under strict surveillance by the Magi to prevent Imhotep's return. Moving forward to 1926, Jonathan Car Carnahan presents his sister Evelyn, played by Rachel Wise, a librarian and aspiring Egyptologist, with an intricate box and map that leads to, le leads to the City of the Dead. Jonathan reveals he stole the box from an American adventurer, Named Rick O'Connor, O'Connell, played by uh, Brandon Fraser, who discovered the city three years earlier while in French, for, while in the French Foreign Legion. Rick makes a deal with Evelyn to lead them there if they release him from prison. Uh, Rick guides Evelyn and her party to the city, where the group encounters a band of American treasure hunters led by Rick's cowardly acquaintance. Benny, Go, uh, Benny Gabar. Uh, we'll talk about him later. <laughs> uh, the expedition are, are confronted by the Magi uh, against the warrior Ardith Bay's advice to leave the city. The two ex expeditions continue to ex excav ex excavate. Evelyn searches for the uh, famous Book of the Living, a book made of pure gold. However, instead of finding the book, she stumbles upon Imhotep's remains. The team of Americans, meanwhile, discover the book, the Black Book of the Dead. 
accompanied by ca uh, cannabis jars uh, ca carrying Anaxanamun's preserved organs. At night, Evelyn takes the Book of the Dead and reads a page aloud. Ah! Uh, why? <laughs> <sighs> Accidentally awaking Emotep. Another another dumbass reading from a fucking book. Great. <clears throat> yes, I wonder, and we'll talk about that here in a minute. The expeditions return to Karo, and Emotep follows them with the help of Benny, uh, who's a chicken shit. If you catch my drift. Emotep returns to full strength by killing the members of the American expedition and brings the ten plagues back to Egypt. Seeking a way to stop Emotep, Rick, Evelyn, and Jonathan meet Ardith at, the, at a hot museum. Ardith um, hi, hypothesizes that Emotep wants to resurrect Anaxanamun by sacrificing El Evelyn. Evelyn believes that if the Book of the Dead brought Emotep back to life, the Book of the Living can kill him again and deduces that books, the book's whereabouts. Emotep corners the group with, any, with an army of slaves. Evelyn agrees to accompany Emotep with, if he spares the rest of the group. Although Emotep gives back, goes back on his word, Rick and the others fight their way to safety. Emotep, Evelyn, and Benny return to Hamanatra, the city of the dead, pursued by Rick, Jonathan, and Ardith. Emotep prepares to sacrifice e Evelyn, and she is rescued after an intense battle with Emotep's mummified priests. When Evelyn reads from the book of Amun-Ra, which is the book of the living, Emotep becomes mortal, mortal, and Rick wounds him. Emotep leaves the world of the living, vowing revenge. While looting treasure, Benny accidentally sets off a booby trap and is trapped by a swarm of flesh-eating scarabs as Hamanan Apcha collapses into the sand. Ardith bids Rick, Evelyn, and Jonathan goodbye. This is not the first time they're going to be together. Trust me. Yeah. And the trio rides off in the sunset on a pair of ca uh, camels laden with Benny's treasure. Thus ending the 1999 Mummy. Um. Okay. So now... You guys are probably wondering, well, Grim Knight, you were you were gonna say something about a certain book of the dead. Yeah. Well, yeah, another dumbass reads from a fucking certain book of the dead, brings back a fucking brings back a fucking evil that's gonna take over the fucking world, and kill everybody. Yeah. Hmm. I'm wondering where the fuck did that come from. Oh, uh, yes. The Evil think, Dead uh, movies. Correct. Is that what you're But the difference is, you weren't, you, but the difference is, they weren't dealing with mummies. They were dealing with deadites. But that, yeah, that's deadites, a simple that difference. That was the thing, yeah. Uh, All right. Well, they were uh, evil that took on the deadites, but this one, she woke up, she awakes, she woke up, and yeah, so you get the point. Yeah. Um... Okay, so I just want to want to know why do people hate this one so bad? Like I don't, I don't know. I thought that the the ninety nine mummy was really good, better than that yeah. shit fucking two thousand seventeen one that we're gonna get to here in a minute. Oh, you need that yeah. Um. Okay, so we are gonna talk about the twenty seventeen one here in just a second, but before oh. that, I just want to talk about the the first mummy. Uh, the, the 90, the 99 one, uh, yeah. the mummy, uh, the 99 version was really good. Um, and, uh, you know, some of it, some of it's kind of weird, you know, some, I, I get that some of, some of the, uh, effects in the 99 version weren't up to par as much and stuff like that. But, you know, that's back when CGI was in its fucking infancy. So, um, I think that the Brennan, I, I, if I were to say, if I were to say who was the better hero, I'm just going to count, I'm just going to count this now. Brennan Fraser made a better fucking hero than Tom Cruise 
ever did. Yeah, really. I mean, and and don't get wrong. I mean, Thompson's a good actor, but he can't top Brendan Fraser in, in the moment. He can't top that. With Brendan Fraser, he's a great hero. But, you know, I, I have to agree with what with, with, uh, Raymond is saying there because I mean, I can say Thompson is a great actor. You know, he did other movies. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, but he can't top. Really, he cannot top Brendan Fraser. Brendan Fraser did a hell of a job in this 1999 version of the movie. Yeah, you can't top that. And speaking of Tom Cruise, we are going to get to his. We're going to get to a vampire movie that a certain vampire movie that he made ah, years right. back called Interview with a Vampire. We will talk about that next year for Rip from the Silver Screen. So yeah, I'm going to that next year. So uh, yeah, but uh, right now, sadly, we go from the better mummy to the shitty mummy. Um. <laughs> And we're going to talk about the 2017 crap version of yeah. the so-called first installment of the Dark Universe. Give me a fucking break. But anyway, yeah, right. so let us talk about the Tom Cruise version of The Mummy. So, this one was directed by Alex Kurtzman. Mm-hmm. Uh, this one stars Tom Cruise, Annabelle Wallace... Sophia Botella, which is hot, by the way. She's hot, by the way. Jake yeah. Johnson, Courtney B. Vance, Russell Crowe, and yeah. Yeah, so this was, yeah. So anyway, let's talk about this one now. In present-day London, construction workers discover the tomb of, crusader, of a crusader knight who was buried with an Egyptian ruby in 1127 A.D. In present-day Iraq... United States Army soldiers Sergeant Nick Morton and Corporal Chris uh, Vale discover the tomb of C- Princess Aminet, Aminet, who attempted to summon the deity uh, Set. She was caught and mummified alive. They and ar- archaeologist Jeannie Halsey fly Aminet's sarcophagus to, Br- uh, to Britain. During the flight, Chris is possessed by Aminet, through a spider that had bitten him in the tomb at- at- attacks uh, the others and is killed by Nick. Many crows attack the plane, causing it to crash, killing everyone except Ginny, who escapes by hair parachute. Which we fucking never see, nope. by the way. I bet. Uh, Nick returns to life in a morgue. Uh, Chris's ghost appears and tells him he has been cursed by Ominent. Who seeks to use him as a vessel for set? Uh, for for set, Aminet's mummy mummy escapes from the sarcophagus and begins feeding on people to regenerate her body. She recovers the dagger of set and turns workers into zombies, which trap Nick and Jenny. Uh, soldiers appear and subdue Aminet. Their leader, Doctor Henry Jekyll, Jesus, the so-called Nick Fury of the Dark Universe. Explains that Ginny is an agent of a prodigium, a secret society dedicated to hunting supernatural threats. Nick and Ginny then discover Dr. Dr. Jekyll intends to allow Set to possess Nick completely in the disbelief that this will render Set vulnerable. Right! And my name is Willy Wonka. Great. Jekyll then transformed to Edward Hyde. Uh, Nick stops him with a serum Jekyll invented to prevent him from undergoing this transformation, and he and Ginny escape. Ominent finds them, regains the dagger, summons many crusader zombies, and creates a large sandstorm in London. It was done better, it was done better in the fucking 99 version, by the way. Um, Nick and Ginny escape her. The crusader zombies kill the prodigium soldiers... Aminet recovers the ruby, combining it with a dagger in order to free Set. Guided by Chris's ghost, Nick and Jeannie flee into the London Underground. They are attacked by Aminet's minions. Aminet captures Jeannie and drowns her. Nick tries to attack Aminet and ends up sustaining injuries. He lets Aminet embrace him, a ruse to let him steal the dagger and shatter the ruby. He strikes the pummel of the dagger against the floor, cracking the ruby as he is... About to shatter the ruby for good, Aminet reminds him, uh, reminds him that the dagger could grant him the ability to reverse death. He stabs himself instead, and become, because the ruby is cracked, he 
becomes partially possessed by sect. He goes to Aminet, but upon remembering both Jenny and Dr. Jekyll's words, turns on her and uses Set's powers to kill her. He resurrects Jenny, and then knowing the Prodigium are coming after him, vanish. Jenny and Dr. Jekyll debate whether Nick, now fused with Set, will use his powers for good. Nick returns to the desert and resurrects Chris. The two then go on a new adventure. The sending what's supposed to have been the so-called beginning of the dark universe. But it ended up being complete gutter trash. <clears throat> and yeah, it was dumb. So anyway, um, this is how I feel about this shit movie. The first one did it better. Um, the first one, the, the, the 99 version did it better than this one. So, but yeah, but, uh, but yeah, they tried to do something that did not, did, that did, that was not needed to bring a new universe into the whole thing. We had already had the Universal Monsters already. So. Yeah. But, um. But I kind of wish that they could have done better, though. If y'all wanted to, if y'all wanted to come, come make a horror universe. That could have been, y'all could have done this a little bit more better than what you did here. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Um. But. <laughs> I know you. I know you haven't seen this, and I probably know you will never see this. Yeah. But in case you do, what did you think, man? Well, I kind of had a hunch, even by the trailers. I want to start by saying this: even by the trailers, when I watched them, and I kind of was like, "This one's gonna be not as good as the original." I mean, like I said before, you, you, you know, with, with reboots, I mean, come on. They, yeah. They don't work. They don't work at all. They were the originals, you know what I'm saying? Leave it to the classics, because you, when the original, sometimes they change the story, they, you know, it, it just gets ridiculous. I mean, I may give the movie a chance, but odds are I already know that it's, like you said, dude, it, it was just crappy, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. So. Not to mention it made no sense at all. See, that too. Okay, so we're gonna get into so we're gonna get into something. Uh, so we're gonna get into this here, a debate here. Who is the better? Who is the better hero in the Mummy movies? Who was the better? Who uh, who had the better class? Who what was the better story? Uh, and also, who was the better? Who was the better villain? Yeah. Starting with first with best villain. Um, what did you think? What did you think of Emotep? In the ninety nine film. Yeah. Uh he's a good villain now, as you know. And yes, we talked about it before, the actor that played him. It was the guy that was in our man two and three. That's what yeah. we talked about. Yeah. Now, as though you know, he did okay as a hero, but he made a good villain. I'm gonna tell you that right now. He played that to a teak. Yeah. And so I mean, you know, in those parts too, you know, with the all the okay. <laughs> I remember it kind of creeped me out too, but, but dude, it just, just, you know what I mean? It, it was, just, I think he did good. He did a good job as the villain in, in this one, in the movie. And yeah, so. Okay, now that we talked about Emotep, what did you think of the of the female mummy in the 2017 version? Mm. Uh, let's see. Uh, ominent. Ominent? Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. What's your name? Um, I, 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 I can see that, uh, you know. Hmm. I mean, after reading this, I mean, like I said, you know, he had top the original, you know what I mean? I mean, I bet she made, uh, I bet she was, you know, like, she did, um, I bet she was, you know, uh, I, I'm trying to find the word, uh, uh, you know, uh, I bet she was, uh, you know, uh, 
she was uh, 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 yeah, 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 I know, man. Yeah, uh, um, I'm hanging around it, but I know that she was in this in this one. You know, I'm sure she was a hard villain to buy. You know, about whatever. You know, mm-hmm. she was a princess, and she had all these things that she could do. You know, especially what Emotep did. You know, um, but again, I have to go with you know, like I said, that's the original. But I mean, nah, you know, I'm just saying. Well, yeah, she she was. I'm not saying. Okay, I guess I would have to, I would have to say. I mean. Yeah. All right. So, in your estimation, who was the best villain, Emotep or, or Aminet? I say Emotep. Okay. I say him because you know he when it comes to Emotep and when it comes to you know and he like Emotep is actually. One an old, you know, uh, emo tap. Um, you know, where is it? Emo tap here. It says here, you know, uh, 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 was a pharaoh, you know, fairy, you know, a legend, you know. And so he's no more than than the new villain and the new one. So you know, what I mean, he's known, you know, but yeah, really, you know what I'm saying? But back in the old, you know, he's known back in the old Egyptian times. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, this is this, for me. This is this is the thing. I thought Sevilla Batella's uh, version of the Mummy was okay at best, but I have to agree. I have to agree. Arnold Vasu's Mummy Emotep. I think he takes the cake uh, for for best Mummy. Um, when you talk about best hero. Uh, Okay, so we're gonna. Uh, I'm gonna talk about best hero now. Nick Morton versus Rick O'Connell. Yeah. Brendan Fraser versus Tom Cruise. Okay, so what did you think about what did you think about uh, Rick in the first in the first Mummy movie? Um. Oh, excuse me. Um, Rick. Uh, you're talking about Brendan Fraser, right? Yeah. I think he made. I go here. I mean, we did touch on this before uh, that he was a big area. You can't top Brendan Fraser, you know. And I've seen a lot of movies he has been in. Yeah. But he made a heck of a hero. I mean, my gosh. I mean, he, he was like, um, when he watched the movies, like, you know, a little bit of Benny and the Jones a little bit. But he, my gosh, though. Yeah, you can't, can't top that. Now, Tom Cruise's character, now he, you know, he played uh, Nick Morton. Yeah. And, and Morton, and I'm going to tell you something about Nick Morton. Uh, Tom Cruise's character. This dude comes off as an ass. He comes out a, 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 as a complete other ass. Don't fucking sit there and say that, oh, he's he's just, he, uh, he's just trying. No, bullshit. Sorry. Nope. This dude, this, this dude is a, calls himself a so-called soldier, but he's a disgrace to the United States, uh, He's he's a disgrace. This dude has to be yeah. a disgrace to the to the armed forces. Um, and then not to mention the fact that we didn't touch we didn't touch on this neither. The whole thing between him and Chris was something out of American uh, was something out of American Werewolf in London. If you guys remember uh-huh. that movie, oh wow, where Chris is a zombie. And the only one that can see him is Nick, and stuff like that. They did the whole American Werewolf in London shit. Yeah. Um. I think Brendan Fraser was the better mummy. Was the better was the better um, uh, hero, uh, hero. Yeah. in this movie. And with that in mind, we're gonna give ourselves. We're gonna get, we're gonna see. We're gonna uh, take a look at the tally here and just. Uh, the Mummy, the 1999 version, gets a 10 out of 10. The 2017 version gets a 2 out of 10. And would you agree with that? Would you agree with that, man? For the remake of The Mummy? Yeah. yeah. I would. Because I'm sorry. that I know they tried. I know they tried the hardest to make this the best that they could freaking make. The, the 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 2017 version but I'm sorry it, it was not good 
at all. Oh, no. Oh, no. Like, not in the least. And if you do go watch it, try to watch it with best intent. Because you're going to see some really, really dumb shit in the 2017 yeah. version. But, uh, and, and yeah. it's our opinion where that, that's just what we think of it. And if you want to say otherwise, well, that is your opinion. But, but go see it. But to yeah. say go see it for yourself, you be the judge. Anyway, moving on. Yeah, but anyway, uh, that's, uh, but yeah, anyway, uh, that's going to be it for us tonight. The next time we go, we'll give you guys a film fights review. We're going to talk about the, uh, uh, we're going to talk about Fright Night, uh, the remake, the 2011 remake and its predecessor, the 1984 version of it. So that's the next time we talk about film fights again. Uh, and that's coming up very soon, too. Um, but let me let us know in the comment section down below. Did you think the 99 version was better? Or do you do you think... There, are you one of those people that think... Oh, the 2017 was, wasn't that bad. <laughs> no. So... But, um... Yeah. That's gonna be it for me. I'm Mr. Grandfather 2. He's Dark997. And we'll see you all in the afterlife. Yeah. I'm in it. I will see your ass in the afterlife, you fucking bitch. Alright. <laughs> Peace.